in recent times i just feel like there are a lot of things that have just taken a wave that has put people under pressure including myself and if we don't draw ourselves to caution we will just end up spending money that it is really really unnecessary to spend and in most cases or in some cases you cannot afford these things but because they look aesthetically beautiful and people are doing it you would also want to find yourself doing it as well not like you necessarily need it but because you have seen one two three or many people talk about it you feel like okay i should buy it i should do it i should get into it and i'm gonna be talking about things that pressure should not make you do in recent time hey guys what's up welcome back again to my channel and welcome back to boomsy sport please turn on your post notification because i promise to always dish out interesting video and if you're coming across me for the first time my name is boomsy boma of boomsy sport yes and you would sure enjoy this channel so do well to subscribe so yeah just jump into today's video i'm gonna be talking about things that pressure should not make you buy or pressure should not actually make you do you guys i almost fell for it but thank god thank god because most of these things right they're in some cases not even needed but in some cases as well it is needed when i was trying to arrange my pantry and whatnot i felt like it was a great idea to buy this spice jar that is trending these days if i can put a picture i'm gonna put a picture for you because you know that part of the things that i do here on my channel is teaching you guys or showing you guys how to make complex life simple and you guys i wanted to buy glass jar because it looked aesthetically beautiful to actually arrange my spices my paprika and whatnot in spice jar did i need it no and thank god i was disappointed after paying over twenty-five thousand, including delivery and the person said the person didn't have the complete pieces to actually send to me and i thought about it i was like you know what refund my money back to me because i really don't need it so if i want to put big salt and if i want to put like my maggie because ha maggie is like how many pieces in a pack it's like what they call it i think like 50 pieces in no pack and other maggie that i use if i want to put it i'm gonna be looking for a way to maybe break it to put it inside and then when i will put it in my soup i will pour it or whatnot it just did not make sense to me as at that time you know going back and thinking about it and just telling myself like how much do i buy these spices that i want to spend over twenty-five thousand naira to buy what i am going to put it inside it's not worth it it's not worth it i was pressured to buy because it looks so beautiful you see it on tiktok you see it almost every instagram what they call it like influencer is using it in their kitchen and whatnot but realistically in a nigerian kitchen will that suffice like we will you be able to use it so every time you want to change salt or whatnot you keep putting it in the glass you have to be very careful like kitchen that you will just do your cooking sharp sharp and go your way you are just gonna be you know just be cautious be this well i'm not a food blogger i mean i live in my home i'm not trying to i'm not trying to say like if you can afford it and you like it and you know you're an aesthetic person that likes to arrange and organize please go ahead and do it. but the people that i'm talking to i'm just saying that let pressure not make you buy things that you don't need and then second i'm going to be talking about please there are people that still marry for love and not money alone yes i said it i said it you guys the internet these days has made us think especially i'm gonna even be talking to young girls the internet these days has made people think that you cannot meet a guy and start at where you guys are at a particular point in time like it's money 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 nobody is married for love anymore you know people are just saying with the broken marriages that have happened you know may and your le doce had they suffer together and you know and got to the point where they are right now they are not your experiences and it's not gonna be your case if you have that young guy that is just striving you know boys are gonna be men some days if you have that young guy that is just trying striving to what they call it like make life better for him you can see that you know he's hard working he's doing this and doing that and whatnot and he cannot afford 
the surprises the balloon the whatnot the that one you know i feel like many marriages these days is based on comparison oh this person carried this person to this particular um, um restaurant at this particular time this one and that and nobody is just looking at what their money can actually achieve at a particular time if you and your fiance to be your money can actually achieve that the both of you will do a very intimate what they call it engagement do it in your parlor or do it in just in a very small environment and be fine but because of social media pressure and things that are just going on people are engaging in helicopters and doing what they call it and it also goes down to weddings as well i just feel like weddings this day is in some cases i'm not gonna say all cases but in some cases i just feel like wedding these days is like who do i pass yes like who do i pass you know who brought the best um dj the best drummers the best um decoration person who used the best event planner and whatnot and not forgetting i be and not remembering that there is life after wedding people these days don't want to marry for love for loyalty for commitment it's just it's better to cry in a bentley than to cry in a this yeah it's sweet until you enter inside and you know that there are some emotional situations that you'll be going through that when you cry <laughs> you must have been crying and crying and crying when you cry your tears mama gland eh, has dried up and you will not even see tears to cry again it will be sweat that you'll be crying it's blood that you'll be crying so i'm just saying that you know let these things not pressure you let all these you know rose petals hundred thousands of rose petals to propose to you and whatnot let it not pressure you meet your partner or whoever you're dating at the point where you guys are presently and make it work please let it be a hard-working person don't just go and take any we buy road driver by the street and just say because bumsy said that we should marry anybody at where they are particularly now uh, i decide to be with you even if you cannot give me the flamboyant proposal or the flamboyant wedding that i want you know i'm gonna what they call it stick by you i do not say that too i'm just telling you that let pressure not just allow you to do the things that you know you're not supposed to do and then totally you guys skincare is like a cult skincare for some people you people there are some crocro in your body and crocro in your niche that all you need is dodo or shoe or even shea butter yes Bumsi said it that all you need is just dodo or show share butter even palm cane oil there's palm cane oil that back in the days we used to extract these things from palm cane and when you rub it on your skin i have not seen anything as shiny on your skin as palm cane oil and these things were so organic and healing to the skin now hmm step one step two step three step four step five and once you start buying you are going to keep buying and buying and buying you may not even have the money to buy all these things you don't even live a comfortable life first of all you're not even eating proper how many square meals you cannot even afford transport here but you're hustling to buy skincare like make it make sense the food that come to come and put, um, what they call it put these things in your faces they will rub the skincare they will stay under ac you you will rub the skincare you will enter bus to Oshudi and sweat it out so what are we talking about you will rub the skincare you will carry the skincare and, and move around the whole balogo market what are you talking about you know i can understand there are basic things that you can actually do for your skin and your body for it to keep glowing but there are also some things as well that you also don't need to spend money if your skin is at where it is you guys fruits repairs the skin a lot and i always i'm always an advocate that sometimes you know your skin actually needs to be repaired see it's what you eat that comes out you actually need to take fruits lots of water you know lots of water lots of fruits as well that have vitamin c and whatnot and you will see how your skin will glow you know do the one that you can do shea butter is such a good skincare that i don't know why people don't make good use of it i'm even looking for a way to even 
other shea butter from Ghana because it is so good. I'm gonna show you guys in another vlog, you know, how I make cream out of shea butter. But you guys, don't be pressured to buy the whole layers of skincare. Buy the one that you can buy and just rest. There is always going to be something that is going to make your skin glow. But if you also decide to go through the organic parts, please eat a lot of fruit. Live a very healthy life. In fact, hmm? purge your heart of wickedness and bitterness and hatred and watch your skin glow. Do good to people. And in fact, when you do good to people and you purge your heart of bitterness, of backbiting, of your skin is going to blind all of us. And let me just talk about this before I actually end this video. If you cannot eat in a restaurant, yes. Nowadays, we have a lot of food bloggers. We have a lot of people that come up to say, oh, come with me to spend so, so, and so amount. In fact, we talk about hair and we talk about food. Come with me to spend so, so, and so amount in a restaurant. If you cannot afford to eat in a restaurant all the time, or if you just cannot afford to eat in a restaurant at a particular time, just carry your beans and your curry and eat in your house there's nothing you're missing outside when you can afford it then you can go for it but if you just cannot afford it and it is something that you really want see in the restaurant it probably might be very expensive than probably just going buying these ingredients and cooking in your house and eating to your satisfaction you might even get a lot of quantity than what you would get going into the restaurant to go and eat and you guys what is trending these days if i was even making me do this video is that i see people come with me to go and make my hair five hundred thousand naira, eight hundred thousand naira, and whatnot if you cannot afford human hair like this, look at my hair. If I tell you how much I made this hair, I made this hair, this is packing chill. I made it for 4,000 naira. That's the complete amount I made because I was just done with wigs, you know. And it's not like what they call it, so I can't wear wigs or I was just done, you know. But I just told myself that I'm not going to get pressure to say I want to go and braid my hair for how many thousands because I want to use human hair to braid my hair and whatnot, right? If you cannot afford for all them beautiful aesthetically beautiful hair the human hair and whatnot there are fine styles that are actually going to fit your face and your face structure and bring out your beauty even more please go for it cheap is not it's not because it is cheap you think it's tacky it is cheap cheap can also come out beautiful you know i've done a video where i've gone to the market and bought tops for myself and styled it and these things came out looking exceptionally beautiful so yeah you guys there are a lot of things in fact you can also make your contribution in the comment section let me know which parts that i did not touch or which part i did not talk about because there are a lot of things that i just feel like pressure should not allow you to do in recent times i know you enjoy going on the internet and watching a lot of things you might be thinking oh it's not working on you and whatnot but it's influencing you one way or the other to do it so you guys thank you so much for watching today's video and i hope you did enjoy it i definitely will see you in another video stay tuned and bye guys <laughs>